Kasa and Asa Invention of the Sewing Machine Asa, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I just can't stitch this right. I was trying to make you something to wear. But this is taking so long. Why don't you use a sewing machine? It will happen much quicker. I don't know much about a sewing machine. Is it a new invention? Come, Asa, let me show you. The English inventor and cabinet maker Thomas Saint mm. had applied for a patent for the first ever complete sewing machine in 1790. He said the machine could be used to stitch shoes, to sew, quilt and stitch. Did it work? In 1874, a man named William mm. Newton Wilson ah. found the blueprints and was able to recreate the machine. And it worked! Mm. Is that the machine we use even today? That was only the first of many machines. Come, let's see. Barthélemy Temonet built the first fully functional sewing machine in 1829. He was a tailor and his machine used a single thread to make the same kind of stitch used in embroidery. He wasn't very popular with his peers as they were scared that sewing machines would replace the need to have tailors. Some cool things were happening in America too. So, is this the person who made the sewing machine we use today? Ah, Asa! This is Elias Hall, an American inventor. He made several improvements to the sewing machine to bring it closer to the model we use today. This included an automatic feed and his trademark, lock stitch method. There's more. He was awarded the first American patent for the sewing machine in 1846. His machine had some of the essential features that sewing machines today have. Hobbes' work has inspired other inventors, including Isaac Singer, to commercially produce sewing machines. Oh wow! I think it's time you bought me a sewing machine. Please, Kasa, please. <laughs> <laughs>